Hi guys, it's Ashlyn. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial with all drugstore products. Not one of them is high-end. Also, I want to go ahead and get this out of the way. If you hear any, like, banging downstairs, that's literally just because my dad is putting in hardwood floor downstairs. So don't be worried about that. So anyways, all these drugstore products I am a fan of. I'm not going to include a drugstore product that I did, don't use. Um, so all of these I have obviously used before and I really enjoy using. And also this is not the final look. And I forgot to take it off before I started filming. So yeah. But anyways, yeah, my hair looks bad. But anyways, let's just get started. So I'm going to take off my makeup now. So I'm using these cotton pads from up and up from target and i like to get the big ones because i don't have to use really more than one or two and then i use the garnier micellar cleansing water to take my makeup off and both of those are from the drugstore so it's safe to use them in this video it low-key feels really weird to film right now because i haven't filmed in a while because i can't film really on weekdays anymore unless it's like late at night because i do track and then all that stuff and so I really haven't had that much time to film it's Saturday right now and I have to film now but I've been trying to post more so hopefully you guys like that it's super fun posting it's just I haven't really had much time but if you guys want to see more of me you can follow my makeup Instagram account I don't really post a ton but I do go live and so obviously that's really up to date so if you want to like keep in touch with me i would go follow that instagram okay so i'm gonna start out the makeup look with primer because i always do primer first and so i'm using the elf blemish control primer i use this in my elf full in full face first impressions video and i've liked it oh gosh i've liked i have liked it since then um i said in that video that it kind of has a consistency of like a gel moisturizer mixed in with like a cream moisturizer it's like a weird consistency but i do like it it's a good drugstore primer a lot of people don't even use a primer and i don't have a problem with that it's just that i myself like to use a primer because i just i like to have a nice base in between my foundation or like concealer and all that stuff and my skin then to fill in my eyebrows i'm using this elf brow pencil i really like this eyebrow product and the one thing that it's kind of difficult to use about it is like the thin like not the thin the thick tip so it's like kind of hard to use but i always carve my eyebrows out after so it's really not bad and i've been using this every day over my eyebrow or oh over my anastasia brow wiz if you guys would like a brow tutorial i could do one and i say i could do one and then i kind of just don't but i'm fully capable of doing one so if you guys would like to see like a brow tutorial because i finally figured out how i like to do my brows just let me know in the comments or i might put a poll if I remember, please remember Ashlyn. Then I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer to carve on my eyebrows. I would actually usually use the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer for carving on my eyebrows, but I do really like this concealer and I'll talk about it more once I actually get to doing my concealer, but I love it for cut creases. Um, so I love this concealer. I pretty much just like to make my tail a little bit sharper and then just clean up under my brows and I don't do up here because then it just looks really unnatural then I'm going to just gel my eyebrows with the Maybelline Great Lash clear brow gel or mascara I honestly like the Essence clear brow gel better than this one but I ran out of the Essence one so this is what I've been using then I would usually use concealer to prime my eyelids but for the sake of this video I'm going to show you an eye shadow primer option so I do enjoy the essence eye heart color intensifying eye primer it's really not bad it does conceal a little bit but I would usually use concealer but it is a good eyeshadow primer option from the drugstore and it's really cheap also after using this, I actually kind of forgot how much I liked this, so I'm going to need to use this more. But anyways, for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the ColourPop My Little Pony palette. The reason why I chose to do a ColourPop palette instead of one that you may think more of a drugstore palette is because I love ColourPop palettes. They are my favorite palettes, like, more affordable-wise, and honestly, they have better quality than most high-end palettes so I absolutely love Colourpop palettes and another reason why I chose this palette in particular is because it is more of a colorful palette so with that being said a lot of people don't know how to create more of a neutral look with it so I'm going to show you how to do that so when I use this palette I always start out with this shade right here it's called Applejack and it's just a nice 
Orangery transition. Whoa, I just sounded like, like James Charles or something. Transition. Hello, sisters. I did not talk like that yet. A transition color. And um, I'm just gonna use that as my transition shade. I do wish this palette had more mattes than shimmers, but it being My Little Pony, I can see why they put lots of shimmers. I'm also gonna take that shade on my lower lash line, even though we're not done with the eye look. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to take the shade called flutter by which is kind of more of a pinky color but still is pretty neutral if you want it to be um like i said wish there were more mattes in this palette but it's a really pretty palette and i'm just gonna take that and put that in my crease like directly and kind of just blend it into applejack that we took earlier also putting it on my outer corner eyeshadow is literally my favorite part of doing my makeup you can just create so many looks there's freaking endless things you can do with eyeshadow and so that's why I kind of make it my main focal point of my makeup when I do it it's just because it's so fun and this literally the sky is your limit when you have an eyeshadow palette and then I'm not gonna go in with this shade just because I don't want it to be too pink since we're kind of going for a neutral look so I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade just to make it more neutral and not too pink like I said I'm not gonna go in with a heavy hand but just gonna kind of see how this goes Okay, yeah, I think we can work with this. As long as you go in with, like, a light hand and just blend, I think it'll be fine. And I'm also going to run it on my lower lash line a little. And then lastly, for my lid shade, I'm going to take this really pretty kind of mustard yellow color called Blossom. I really haven't used this on my eyes before, but it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. See, this is why I love ColourPop palettes, because I literally did not spray this brush one bit, and it's so pigmented. Next, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. I think I like this better than the Matte and Poreless just a tiny bit, just because I like how it's very luminous. I actually haven't used this in a really long time, because I thought it was too dark, but it may still be too dark, but I don't think it's that bad. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques sponge. And I actually got this one today, so it's brand new. So I'm just going to take it, uh, yeah, on the back of my hand and dot it on my face and then blend it in with the sponge. Yeah, this may still be a little bit dark, but I literally don't even like the foundation that much, honestly. Like, I never wear it. People always ask me what my favorite foundation is, and... I just like you don't know because I don't wear foundation that often. I'm going to for this video because you might be wanting a good drugstore foundation. I don't want to ruin this. I'm going to like look back on this video and be like, why did you ruin the sponge? But oh well. Oh my gosh, this blends out really well. I forgot how much I like this also. Okay, it blended out super easily and it didn't like dry on me. And I think it did pretty good. It has like a light to medium coverage. So if you're wanting like a full coverage foundation, this is this won't really be that great of one. But you could probably build it up. It's very luminous. Not really my shade that well. But it's okay. Um, the concealer I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild one that I showed you earlier. I love this concealer. I do not like the Wet n Wild foundation at all, but this concealer is a whole different story. I think it's super good. It has great coverage, and it's super cheap, so great concealer. My beauty blender is already getting really dirty, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I can deal with it. Okay, but for setting powder, I'm going to be using the... Cody Airspun powder. This is like five or six dollars at Walmart. So great deal, especially for how much you get. So I'm just gonna take some that was probably too much in the lid. And I'm going to set my entire face with the sponge again. I'm not really gonna be baking. Uh okay, so I don't have another loose setting powder from the drugstore. So I that's why I used this one. And I I don't know. It's like decent. And it's a really good deal, but the smell is what gets me. Like, I just I just can't really do the smell. It smells like baby powder slash, like, old grandma, which isn't a bad thing. Like, old grandmas are so sweet. But just the smell is just, I just can't really do it. But other than that, like, it's good. If you can p get past the smell, it's really good. Then the bronzer I'm going to use is this one from the Wet n Wild one. I'm just going to use the bronzer in it. I could have used a setting powder, and I really like the setting powder in it. But I'm going to be using the bronzer. Oh, dang, jeez. Okay, um, both of the, the, the little 
kit is like four dollars probably and that's such a good deal for what you get the bronzer lasts a long time the powder lasts a pretty good time too my phone just ran out of storage but while i was gone i put on a headband because my hair looked absolutely trash now i think we're on to blush so i'm using the essence satin touch blush in the shade satin coral i love this blush i think it's a super duper good blush and it's really cheap and it lasts a really long time like i've used this a lot and the bumps are still there on it from like when i got it so <sighs> i'm out of breath now um anyways I think it's a super duper good blush if you're looking for a cheap blush that will last you and that's really good. Also, I like just realized I said I was going to do like a natural or neutral look with my eyes and they're literally purple and gold. Um, The highlighter I'm going to use is the ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter. It is gorgeous. Like, I hope you'll be able to see this reflection. blinding i'm telling you um the only thing i don't like about it is that it's a cream to powder so you either have to use a sponge or your fingers sometimes you can use a brush i'm gonna try a brush today so i'm using this kind of like denser brush it's by the brand cuivange from amazon super duper good brush set um but hopefully it will work with flexitarian okay that's blinding okay um Flexitarian, if you are looking for a blinding, cheap highlighter, Flexitarian is the way to go. Blinding. Like, hopefully I can get the right angle, but... Oh my gosh. So, I thought I was going to do lashes today, but really, I don't feel like it. But Ardell lashes are super good ones from a drugstore, really any Ardell lashes. So, I'm going to curl my lashes and then just apply mascara the mascara i'm going to use is the elf volumizing mascara this is a good mascara it's a pretty natural one but really my favorite ones are the essence lash princesses specifically the green one but all of mine are like dried and old and so i just got rid of my green one i'm gonna just use this one today it's also really good it's like two dollars so you really can't go wrong with it lastly the lip i'm going to put on is the ColourPop lippy sticks and this is in the shade Parker. I think this is a really pretty color. Like, it's a nice, like, natural, but, like, color, if you know what I mean. I love this color so much. The formula of these lippy sticks are super good. This lip shade kind of doesn't match this look, but... I think it's fine okay so this is the final completed look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this video helped you guys out if you're looking for some nice drugstore products because really you do not have to spend 40 dollars on a foundation or like 42 dollars on, on an eyeshadow palette as much as i like my high-end stuff i also really like drugstore products and there's really no reason not to because you can still get a nice look out of your nice drugstore products but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up um so yeah like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye I'll never try, bye, bye, bye.